the well you know Dado is called like the Bill Gates of the uh, Philippines uh, this genius uh, here in Silicon Valley who is not only a genius in um, in technology but is also a genius as an entrepreneur and um, he has been talking about this idea that really um, what developed countries uh, or one of the reasons countries are catapulted into the development stage is uh, innovation. And innovation very often comes from science and engineering and technology. And so um, he and the board agreed that uh, perhaps uh, this new foundation, which will be called Philippine Development Foundation USA, should uh, take as its focus the um, establishment of what we might call an ecosystem that will nurture and, um, and develop and nurture uh, science and engineering as a foundation for economic development or as a catalyst for economic development. So the forum is bringing together uh, you know, the best um, scientists and engineers here in the United States, and then we're inviting some of them from the Philippines to come together and think through what is it that the country must do to encourage more Filipinos to take up the sciences and engineering and to become innovators in, uh, in this new space of technology. So you might call it um, creating a, a culture of technology for development, uh, to, to bring our people up to the next stage of development in the country. And uh, we had actually presented this to President Aquino, uh, Dato Panatao, Fernando Zobel, and I called on him uh, in the first week of July to present this concept, and he was um, very interested in it and um, felt uh, that it was a, a, good, uh, a good strategic approach to really accelerate the economic development of the country. Uh, the, the, Filipino, uh, the Philippine Development Forum um, is probably a, we try to pattern it after the, the Chinese Committee of 100, which is basically having um, the most distinguished and most preeminent uh, Filipino Americans and Filipinos from both the Philippines and the United States and the rest of the world for that matter to get to, to come together and, and see if they can discuss uh, and, and shed some light as to what are the challenges, what are the opportunities for the Philippines to get into a growth and development mode. Um, this is, you might be surprised at, we will be surprised at the, probably the diversity of thought and, and, and pieces and arguments that will come up there. But this is the first, um, probably a, a unique gathering of thought leaders under one roof to talk about three things education, science, and technology. Why those three? Because we believe that that is, in order to, or study after study, uh, economic studies have shown that for a country to move from an LDC to a development country, developing country, uh, they are basically driven by innovation and technology and engineering and science. Uh, that's why we call it uh, the, the strategic way of helping the Philippines, because there will always be major calamities and there will always be major needs. After an earthquake or the floods, the Philippines needs assistance, and there will always be help from a lot of the Filipinos from all over the world. But in order for it to be sustainable, Ayala Foundation USA believes, and Al Foundation believes that it has to be strategic in nature. It has to be lasting. It has to be sustainable. Those are the key things that we're trying to achieve here. So what uh, Dado is now saying is that uh, this uh, initiative will actually be, you know, affecting our our Filipinos from the time they enter school in in, in kindergarten by improving the way we teach science and math. Uh, all the way to creating, uh, you know, multi-million dollar uh, companies uh, that will then uh, create the jobs and, uh, and, and spur more economic development. Now, how much we will raise, we really don't know. First, we don't even know exactly 
what programs will be put in place. One of the things uh, I wanted to uh, point out is uh, after the forum, the hard part begins, which is translating <coughs> all the ideas and um, possible recommendations that come out of the forum back to Manila, where we then have to create, I guess, what we might call, uh, Pap, Pap already talked about the consortium around the RDP, a much larger consortium uh, that will be multi-sectoral, including the national government, local government, private sector, NGOs, academic institutions, and, and individuals who all will believe in this uh, vision and this um, uh, major initiative and really come together to think maybe 10 years, 25 years, even a 50-year development plan, uh, something like what NEDA does. Uh, for the country. You know? now, there are, there are short-term uh, action plans, medium-term action plans, and long-term um, plans. In fact, when we presented this to President Aquino, he asked, you know, how long will it take for us to see the results? And of course, Dado very wisely said, well, Mr. President, um, it won't happen overnight. Uh, it might take 10 years, it might take 25 years, but we have to start now. We don't start now. We'll never catch up with the rest of the countries in the world. So it's really now quite uh, still an, a, an idea, a dream, you might say, a, uh, a, um, uh, the, what, what Dado and all of these economists have shown to be what a, a developing country like the Philippines needs. How to flesh that out and how to implement it will be the challenge before us.